Welcome to The Boiling Point. Steven Taylor with us again. And we are gonna be talking a little bit about on the rental side. We talked about the gas pressure regulating station last week, uh, two weeks ago. And then this week, we're gonna actually talk about the steam reducing station. Um, now, Steven, in, in boiler rental, you have a customer sometimes that has a system that may not be the same pressure as what you rent the boilers for. So yep. maybe talk us through that. What do you do? Yeah, most of the time, um, when that comes into play, is where we have a low pressure system. It's a heating system. It's a hospital. It could be anywhere, apartment complex, whatever. They have a 15 pound design system. Well, all of our stuff is either 150 or 250 pound design. Okay. And so the, the deaerator system, everything in there is designed for that high pressure. So if we try to operate that thing at seven, eight pounds, we're not gonna heat the DA system. Everything's not gonna work the way it should. Okay. To get around that, we've designed these uh, pressure reducing stations that the customer can bolt on right outside of our trailer. Mm. Inspectors really like it, the way we set it up. We design it, uh, built it up to where there, it's a plug and play. They drop it in there, they flange it up. Um, we we uh, uh, have, have it set up to where we can adjust this for you know three pounds out up to about 12 pounds out. Okay. Um, and, and it really satisfies a, a lot of, of applications where that high pressure unit just, just won't work well trying to operate in low pressure. Okay, so you have the 150 pound steam, let's say, that's coming in here. Yep. And then going through a Spence uh, pressure, reducing, pressure station. reducing station. Yep. So then tell me kind of what, what goes on there. And, and so it, it, th this is a, these springs here are adjustable. So that's, we have a downstream gauge here and we just adjust those springs once we have steam flowing until we get the outlet pressure we're looking for. And then it's, it's self-maintained, it's self-controlled. We don't have to worry about it anymore. It's, it just sets up and runs. Okay. And you bolt this right on here? Yeah, on the downstream side, because we've got a 150 pound boiler. So if that valve sticks wide open, then we're gonna run 150 pounds of the system. Mm. That's a 15 pound system. Okay. Can't do that by code and for safety reasons. So what we've done, we've designed a, a another bolt on with low pressure relief valves, 15 PSI, and they're designed to relieve the capacity of our boiler. So that protects their system from our high pressure boiler. So if something happens that fails wide open, these are gonna keep the system from getting above 15 PSI. Mm. Really keeps you from having to have a bunch of different types of equipment in stock. So like we don't have to have a bunch of 15 PSI yeah. low pressure units. You it, can it makes our that. fleet so versatile because I could take this and either put it on a 150 pound boiler or I can put it on a 250 pound boiler. It doesn't care. I just adjust that, that um, pilot uh, regulator to set my outlet pressure where I want it. Mm -hmm. and, and then I can use a, a 250 pound boiler, operate at 225 PSI to feed seven pounds to their system. Makes a great application for, for projects like that. Okay, super, good to know. Well, another way that you guys make things easy for the customer <laughs> and uh, be more versatile, as you, as you said, of any type of applications that's out there that we can actually get that done for them. So. Absolutely. All right, well, appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Steven stopping by and talking with us a little bit about the steam reducing station. If you'd like to know a little bit more about steam and maybe how a system works, as Steven was talking about, check out our Boiler University sign up and get to those uh, new classes in 2018 where we've built a 12,000 square foot facility. Also, we're gonna be at PowerGen December 4th, 5th, and 6th. Make sure you come by, check out the booth, as well as get you a t-shirt that we always have every year. Not gonna tell you what it is, you have to come to get it. Well, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, if you don't mind, maybe even share a video and subscribe to that YouTube channel. And also check out Steam Culture. My man Brent's always got something every week. Check that out. It's always good. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.